back again. Ah, oh, this one, I just don't wanna cry. I'm trying not to cry. You try not to cry with me. <laughs> um, I think, you know, obviously we have friends. A lot of us will have ride or dies. I have no questions asked friends. Um, I think if, you know, for those who struggle with mental illness, we, we've all been in a position before where we have either sent or received one of those sometimes cryptic just text messages where you just either you're at your lowest low or someone who is at their lowest low texts you and um it's you know it's, it's heartbreak heartbreaking no matter what side you're on but it's just in the only those who have ever been in those moments know what those moments are like so i um, hopefully or you know maybe not hopefully but <laughs> i think like either way a lot of you are going to relate to this um so a long and that was a long time ago now a while ago um i had a best friend text me and they said can you just text me back and tell me i'm not a total waste of skin that's gross and unlovable and a disaster and not ask any questions and in this moment of course i was thinking of my friend and did for you know the remainder of this conversation but afterwards i was thinking of you guys and just thinking you know i wonder how many of my viewers have sent a similar text to a friend um looking for support or just or maybe you ha you have wanted to send a text like that but you don't have the support system that allows you to send a no questions asked text um me and and, and my friend here in this example we we very much do and i i did exactly that i texted her back immediately the longest message <laughs> and you know i i just gave her what she wanted in that moment which was to tell her that she is not a waste of skin and gross or unlovable or a disaster um and i didn't ask any questions now again i have this relationship with this particular friend where it was okay for me not to pry in that moment of course any text of this nature should be taken seriously and if it does catch you off guard then and or if you feel that this person is absolutely at risk then you i believed in my opinion have the responsibility uh, to, you know, proceed with, with action um, to protect you and others and, and the person in question. Um, but the whole point of this video wasn't to talk about that aspect of it or debate that, but was more so to just tell you um, that I think it is important to sometimes be a, a friend or have a friend that has the no questions asked relationship um sometimes we just don't want to feel alone and we will speak and talk about our feelings at a time that we feel appropriate or willing to um and sometimes we just need that affirmation uh that we are not a waste of skin um i like i it, this is so hard to talk about because obviously like all I can think of it right now is my friend sending me this text and I'm trying to get past that and I'm trying to uh, lay it out in a way that will help and benefit if you're watching um, so that you you know that it does exist like this kind of relationship of a no questions asked does exist and I do find it to be helpful uh, in some cases and I also wanted to write it you know we'll write this video but talk to you about this so that you know that if you do also feel this way sometimes if you do feel like you are a waste of skin and gross and unlovable and a disaster that a you are not alone um i always find comfort in knowing that that's just me maybe it'll be you as well um but I wanted to like go through a little exercise so let's say that you came across this video and you're watching it right now because you feel exactly that you feel like you are a waste of skin and you are gross and you are unlovable and you are a disaster let's just it let's just 
play this out for a second that you do feel that way and you don't have a no questions asked person and you are just home right now and you feel this way and you're just browsing YouTube um, and you, you have no one you can talk to. So let's just imagine that you have sent me that text and I have received it because I just want to take a moment right now um, to tell you that you aren't worthless and you are funny and worthy and have so many incredible days ahead of you. Um, I would remind you of hilarious memories that you had <laughs> um, with your friends uh, that would probably make me laugh and maybe even some Netflix recommendations or smoothie recipes because that's what I'm about. Um, and just say, you know, that this is a feeling that will pass. I'm not saying that it might not last a long time or it might not come back, but you 100% are not a waste of skin. And while there are many um, uncertainties with this whole feeling and in terms of how long it will last and when they'll come back, because I know I've had them, we can just all agree right now that the most certain thing is, is that you are definitely not a waste of skin and that you are valued by others that you know in your life. I just wanted to make this video um, because my friend had texted me this and I thought she's not the only person in the world who has texted somebody this and she had me to write back and tell her that she wasn't worthless and I, my fear was that maybe you don't have that person so I wanted to be that person for you. No questions asked. Bye guys.